today we're going to be doing some math art. We're going to be doing that by creating some art inspired by M.C. Escher, and it's going to be uh, tessellation art. Tessellation art uh, is created when a shape is repeated over and over again, covering something without any gaps or overlaps. Another word for tessellation is tiling. Uh, you can kind of see how like on the floor there's tile and different designs. So, but we're gonna be making a tessellation pattern. For this activity, you're going to need a piece of paper. Now your piece of paper is probably going to be this size and that is a perfect size for your very first tessellation piece. Uh, but you're actually gonna need two pieces of paper. Uh, you're going to need a pair of scissors, a pencil, and you're also going to need some tape. So hopefully you can find some tape around your house. It doesn't have to be clear tape. It can be any kind of tape. And now I'm going to walk you through the steps of making your very own tessellation piece. Hi, friends. So I'm in my classroom right now, and I found my book on M.C. Escher. So before we go any further, I just wanted to show you a couple of examples of some of his pieces. So look how cool the cover is for that book. Now, he does some pretty amazing stuff. Um, and so I wanted to show you some of his work. Look how cool that is. Do you notice the patterns in here? Now, sometimes there's not the actual tiling that we talked about. This one is, well, this one is actually, sorry. This one, you can see that the pattern is repeated this one, we've got two separate animals in there. Can you see the two separate animals? Wow. Was a pretty talented artist. Oh, that one's kind of crazy. Very cool. MC Escher has a lot of different famous pieces, uh, but the one thing he was most famous for was his tessellation art. And so I hope you have fun. Okay, now continue with the video. Go ahead. So I have my first piece of paper. And I have to first cut a square or a rectangle. I'm gonna choose a square today. And you really wanna make sure it's as straight as you possibly can. So I'm gonna kind of clean up my edges a little bit here to make it as straight as I possibly can. I probably should have used a ruler, but I do not have a ruler with me right now. I could even use the edge of a piece of paper to kind of uh, edge it out to make it as straight as I possibly can. So I've got my piece of paper and now this is the fun part. I am going to now cut some pieces out of my original tile or square to uh, add to each side to make a pattern. So I'm gonna switch my camera so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I've got my piece of paper here. I am going to start off by, I think I'm gonna make, there we go. I have cut out my piece. Now it's really important that you remember, oops, I think I flipped it upside down. It's really important that you keep it back exactly where you cut it out. Okay, so that's a perfect piece right there. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take this piece and I'm gonna slide it across and perfectly match it to the other side. So it goes about right there. Trying to get it as perfect as I can. I'm kind of looking at that edge right there and that edge and matching. And I'm going to add my piece of tape. Okay, there's one. Mm, I'm gonna add something to the other side. Now, you're only gonna choose two sides to use because when I cut something from this side, I'm gonna add it over to here. So this time around, I wanna add kind of a wavy something. I wanna create it too crazy, but eh, that'll work. Okay, 
I'm going to do that. I'm going to put them back together again. Now, instead of a piece of paper, you actually could use a piece of cardboard. It might actually work a lot easier because we're going to have to use this puzzle piece as um, something to trace. Okay, so now I'm going to take that piece and I'm going to slide it, slide it over the top. I do the sliding because uh, if you accidentally flip it over, it's going to not match up with your puzzle piece, your tessellation tile. So I'm going to make that go like right like that. Is that pretty even? Oop, I need to go up a little bit. I'm really looking at my edges, trying to match how much space is at the top there and how much space is at the top there. And that works out. So I'm going to tape it right there. Awesome. I'm just going to kind of reinforce my other side. So I'm going to add a piece of tape to that side and add a piece of tape to that side to make it nice and thick. Awesome. So now I have my really, oh, I like it. It's a pretty cool little puzzle piece. Awesome. So now I am ready for my actual tessellation drawing. So for this part, I'm going to put my piece of paper down. I'm going to find the edge of my paper. And I'm going to start tracing. I'm going to use you will want to use a pencil. I'm going to use a pen because this document camera is not as bright as my one at school. And I'm gonna, it doesn't matter if I get anything on my puzzle piece. That's okay. I am just going to trace my tile here. Do, 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 do. Awesome. All right. And now that I've done that piece, now I can enter this one on that side. And now I'm going to trace it again. And I'm just gonna keep on doing this over and over again. Just keep on tracing. The hard part sometimes is it starts to go a little diagonal. You really wanna to try to keep it as even as you possibly can straight on the bottom. Whoopsies. Trying to go a little too fast. Okay, the tricky part now is I have my tiles going this way and I still have extra space here. So I am still going to attach it to the side and make it go like that, okay? So now the fun part is this oh, kind of looks like a nose. That's kind of funny. So now I'm going to take my piece here and you can start this way. You could start on the side. It does not matter. But now I'm going to attach this piece right in there. And if you get started on your tessellation and you decide, oh, I don't really like the way my um, my tile is looking, you can always stop and start again um, and decide on a different pattern. I know that Right now I'm thinking, oh, I wish I would have maybe done something a little bit different there, but I'm just going to keep rolling with this one. But yeah, you can make any kind of decisions that you'd like. These are really fun to do and they turn out really beautiful. Uh, while you're doing this part too, you can kind of think about the different colors that you want to include on your piece. This one's looking pretty cool. And keep drawing on my puzzle piece. That's okay. If you felt comfortable enough just going straight with pen, you can do that. Maybe your first time you'd want to use pencil, but you can do whatever you'd like. You should have a um, ballpoint pen in your supply kit, or you can just use a black marker. Whoa, I'm getting confused. Oh, here we go, right here. If you have a bigger piece of paper at home too, you can use that. I, it's sometimes it's easier just to do a nice small piece of paper, especially for your first one. All right, I'm almost finished. Now I used a really big tile piece. And if I wanted to, I could do a smaller piece and that would be really cool. It would um, take a little bit longer obviously, but it would be a super fun um, activity to do. Awesome. So there is my 
tessellation background. So now I get to decide what colors I'm going to use. So I'm going to choose colored pencils because I think that um, they're easier to control. But if you wanted to, you could use markers um, and you could finish up your tessellation to color it however you would like. Again, here's my last one that I made. It's a little bit different. Funny how I kind of made the same puzzle piece on accident, I didn't even think. But this time around, I used crayon. So if you'd rather use crayon, you can. Colored pencils look great. You could do any kind of pattern you want. You could even decorate the inside of the tessellation with a pattern if you wanted. Uh, but it's totally up to you. So go ahead, get started. Once you've finished, you should share your finished art on Seesaw with everybody um, or however else you'd like to share. I can't wait to see what you all come up with. All right, have fun.